Hello, everybody. Uh, Marcus Crawford, or Idaho Sledhead, uh, as I'm known on my YouTube channel here. Uh, today, we're going to take the Hubson Zeno up again and uh, test the uh, Wi-Fi uh, connection on the drone. I've had issues with that connection in the past, uh, so hopefully uh, today we can get a good flight and a good solid connection. Uh, just to kind of give you a heads up on some of the things that uh, I'm uh, doing to achieve that, uh, Hubson on their Facebook page, or, or on Facebook, and also on their forums, suggested that if you have uh, upgraded your uh, flight control firmware, to make sure that you upgrade the camera firmware as well, even if that is the same version as what's available right now. Uh, evidently, the uh, the flight control firmware will then try and pull the SD card uh, looking for those upgrade files for the camera and that can cause Wi-Fi connection issues. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure you do that and I did that in an, and, and we'll see how that works out. The other thing is I had a suggestion that you not uh, insert the SD card into the drone until you have everything fired up, the drone, the controller, uh, the app, uh, and your phone, etc. Uh, so uh, we're going to do that as well and see if that helps. Uh, and uh, then uh, this time I'm using a smaller capacity SD card, an 8 gigabyte card. That was another suggestion uh, that I've seen on some forums. Uh, so uh, let's get the Hubson out and out to the park and uh, let's see how it does. All right, uh, I'm out in the field now. Uh, let's, uh, let's get the Xeno up in the air and I'm going to uh, faithfully go through all the startup procedures and try and make sure that uh, everything is done uh, very precisely and correctly and uh, see if we can uh, get this uh, little drone flying without any Wi-Fi dropouts. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, uh, fire up the drone without the SD card in it. Uh, then I'll fire up the controller. Then I'll fire up the Hubson app. I'll plug the cord into my iPhone 10 uh, and only then will I reinsert the SD card and it should do a speed test. Okay so uh, I've got the, uh, the drone on, I've got the uh, controller on, I'm uh, in the Xeno app, so uh, the Hubson app, so I'm going to plug in now the, uh, the patch cord into the iPhone 10. That's done. Uh, I'm going to uh, enter the device. And it's connecting. And it is giving me a warning here that the uh, that the SD card is not in place. Uh, so we'll insert the SD card now. And it should, uh, uh, if I understand correctly, it'll do a speed test on the card. The card is in. Uh, it did show a speed test and it says it passed. Uh, so now let's do the other uh, connections that you need to do. Uh, we're going to go into the controller first and uh, we're going to set the transmitter and aircraft connection. I see the uh, Hubson at the very top there. I'm going to click connect. That is done. Uh, so then Wi-Fi is established. I am going to do the, uh, the GPS connection now. So we'll go back to the top here. Uh, find aircraft to current device. And we're going to hold it down close here. And it says we have good GPS accuracy. Uh, so the other thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do a uh, compass calibration. Let's, uh, let's make sure that everything is as it should be. So spinning clockwise. Now it's telling me to go vertical and clockwise. And we're 
good. System is reinitializing. Uh, the the uh, the gimbal went into protection mode. Uh, so now it looks like everything is uh, looks like we're all good to go here. So uh, let me put on my other glove here real quick, and we'll uh, we'll see if we can get this thing into the air. We'll do an automatic takeoff and. Uh, uh, you know, looking at the at, at the app right now, we've got a good connection. Okay, let's uh, let's do an auto takeoff. So, what you saw just then with it taking off and then uh, settling down a foot or two is typical of what I've seen with this drone. And now it's rising. I'm not touching the controls at all. Uh, but that, uh, since the first time I flew this drone, that seems to be typical. So you, you do have to be careful uh, when you first take off uh, if you're worried about it hitting the ground. And I've had it actually almost completely land again. Uh, you need to uh, uh, maybe give it a little throttle, get it in the air. So let's, uh, Let's get video started here. Okay, video is going and that worked well, so let's uh, let's go up and back and let's get some altitude, get it in the air. Okay, so far so good. We're about uh, a little over 42 meters high. Uh, I noticed it's still ascending. I let off at about 41 meters and it ascended up to about 44. Uh, we're about uh, 108 meters away. We've got a good connection. Uh, so I am going to, uh, I think, uh, just head straight out here and let's go out a little ways. Uh, so far so good the connection seems to be uh, seems to be very strong so so that's uh, that's encouraging so I'm full stick full forward you can see it a hundred percent there and and I get a little bit of a yaw and uh, that seems to be the case with this particular uh, drone uh, you always get a little bit of a yaw there. Seems to have settled down now. We're at almost 200 meters. We'll, uh, we'll get a little bit of uh, altitude here. We're at 300 meters. I'm going to take it up just a little bit. Took it up to about uh, 60 meters. Uh, there is virtually no wind today, maybe a very slight breeze. We're at 500 meters and we have an excellent connection. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do a loop around and come back. We're at almost, yeah, we're at 600 meters now. I'm turning it around. Uh, little bit of jerkiness on the FBV there. We're at almost 700 meters, but good connection. I'm going to bring it straight back to us here. Wow, I can say so far so good. This is by far the smoothest uh, control and flight that I've had with this particular drone. No issues so far. Everything's perfect. Uh, looks like we're going about 8.5 meters per second and that's at 100%. So we're back above the park here. All 
I'm going to see if I can turn it and get above me. So where I've had issues before is when the drone was almost directly above me. So we're about 50 meters out. I'm going to pan down or roll down here with the camera. Uh, yeah, so there I am down there. Let's uh, spin it around here. Let's see if we can get directly above us because that's when I've had connection issues before is when I when it was kind of high above. So it's showing about 40 meters distance. So there I am. For all intents and purposes, uh, the drone is directly above us now. About two meters off or so, four meters. Uh, so really good connection. <clears throat> So that's good. So uh, I am going to uh, see if I can go into one of the automated flight modes here. Uh, so, oh yeah, so that, yeah, so you can see it just then that we just had a little blink just then. So, uh, so I'm going to back it off. So clearly, yeah, right now, yeah, it's, it it was trying to return there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm going to see if I can back it off just a little. So you can see the FPV kind of freaking out there. Getting kind of stuttery. So, so that said, if that is the worst problem with this drone, that to me is not really a significant issue. Uh, so it was straight above me there, so I can kind of understand that Wi-Fi, you, you might get some issues. So, so now let's, uh, let's get out here. I'm going to see if I can do uh, uh, something with uh, the automated flights. And we're at 58% battery. So uh, let's do an orbit. I haven't done one of those in a while. So we're going to set the transmitter as the point of interest. Well, that might be. Now let's let's do the, the aircraft's current location. And uh, let's back it off. So it's kind of cool. It shows you how far out it's going to go. So I got it out about 60, 70 meters or so. Execute immediately. Let's uh, let's point the camera back up. Execute immediately, and uh, so let's speed it up just a little. Okay, so I set it on three meters per second, which is the top speed here. And it's doing it. Solid connection, no issues at all. Okay, we're going to get out of orbit mode here. Well, if I can... There you go, I click, click stop. Uh, one that gave me an issue last week, or the other day, was uh, doing the... Uh, in the creative video section here. Yeah, it says you must stop the current recording. So I'm going to click OK. Uh, I'm going to try the... Uh, uh, 
the, on the screen here. Yep, and it stopped. So the other day I, I had problems with that. It it wouldn't accept that command. Uh, so it did. It, I've got it, clearly I've got a good connection here. So uh, so let's go back into uh, creative video, and we still we just have the panorama available in creative video. Looks it looks like there's some stuff to come yet. So. Uh, we're going to uh, we're going to do a uh, a 360, and uh, let's do a pretty slow span pan here. I'm going to slow it down just a little, and click go. Well, it still seems like it's pretty fast now. Uh, <clears throat> on the FPV, uh, yeah, we're getting a 40% battery warning there. On the FPV, <clears throat> it's a little bit stuttery, but but that's okay as long as the video and the camera is good and and I can see exactly what it's doing it's not stopping and then restarting like I've seen like I've had it do in the past so so let's uh, I'm gonna just let it uh, do uh, a full uh, 360 here on that pan and then we'll we'll shut it off and uh, we'll try something else like I said we're down to 40% battery yeah so once it did the 360 it exited on its own so that's great uh, that's exactly what you would want it to do uh, I am going to uh, I'm going to bring it back to us Dropping an elevation, bringing her back towards us. So I can see the drone there. We'll try a little follow me. Okay, so let's try back into flight modes here following mode and uh, understood yeah so it sees me then that's great yeah except for it didn't see me I think it I think it uh, it it saw those trash cans so let's let's try this again I that is clearly my fault I drew a, a big box there Try it again. Yeah, I think it's got me now. No? No such luck. I'm going to move out here where it's got nothing else to look at. Okay, now she's going. So it's actually the drone is backing up. So I wonder what'll happen if I if I increase altitude while I'm doing this. Yeah, so it's still got me. We're down to 29% battery. Okay, so follow me mode uh, worked fine and we had a good connection the whole time. This is encouraging. So, uh, so let's go, uh, let's uh, kick the camera up and let's go out a ways and then we'll, uh, we'll do a return to home. Uh, 
I neglected to start video, so let's st we're starting the video now. Yeah, so it hit uh, it hit 25% battery, and then went into automatically went into RTH. So that's not a bad thing. So it's returning to home right now. Let's uh, let's see how close it lands. That's where it landed uh, in relation to the uh, to the landing pad. So that's not bad. Uh, and <clears throat> as usual, always remember to uh, stop uh, your video recording to so it'll uh, save the file. That's done. <clears throat> and uh, so now uh, we'll just shut it down. I'm going to uh, start by uh, well, we'll just shut down the drone, the controller, and uh, and then the app. Okay, I think we had a successful flight there. At least I felt like that was a successful flight, and it's probably the most confidence I've had in this drone uh, since I've uh, started flying it. Uh, so uh, all of that said, I'm going to uh, shut it down, and I'll uh, go home, and I'll do a quick conclusion. Okay, I got back home from uh, the test flight with the Hubson Zeno, uh, testing out the uh, Wi-Fi connection, see if we could get a good solid Wi-Fi connection for a full flight. Uh, and in that regard, I would say we were very successful today. In fact, I'm going to say that this was the most uh, solid, confidence-inspiring flight that I've had yet with the uh, Xeno. Uh, makes me feel good about, uh, uh, about the drone now and gives me confidence that I can fly it, maintain a connection, and know that I can do what I need to do with the drone. Uh, so what did we do to achieve that? Uh, we, because of suggestions by uh, Hubson that they've published, both on Facebook and on their uh, uh, their forums, uh, they've stated that if you update the uh, uh, flight control firmware to make sure that you then update the camera firmware, even though the camera firmware may be the same version as what's already on your craft still update it because when you update the flight control firmware uh, evidently it then tries knows that you need to update the rest of the firmware so it will pull the SD card looking for those firmware files for the camera uh, so what, you, you need to do that every time and they stated that that could cause Wi-Fi disconnection issues uh, the other suggestion that I took was uh, not to insert the SD card until you had the whole drone fired up. The, the drone fired up, your controller fired up, and your phone and, and the app all on. And then insert the card, and then it does a speed test on the card, which it did. Uh, and, uh, you know, whether that made a difference or not, I can't say for certain. All I can say is that I had a good flight. Uh, also, I, other people have suggested to use a smaller capacity card. Uh, so this was an 8 gigabyte card that I used today. Uh, and I will say I flew a whole battery through it and only used about half of the capacity of the card. So that tells me that really 8 gigabytes is plenty. Uh, you know, unless you plan on doing multiple batteries of flights, you may want a little bit bigger card. But... Uh, for what I did, that 8 gig card was had plenty of capacity, uh, and the video uh, that came back off of it was good. I've already looked at it, and it's uh, in good shape. So, uh, I 
I guess would say that the, the, I, am, I have a lot more confidence in the Hubson Zeno now, and it will be a, a regular part of my arsenal of drones that I'll uh, take out and fly and, and uh, know what I can do with. Uh, particularly, uh, everyone, we've all said this before, the price point of this dr drone is tremendous for a folding uh, drone. Uh, I think it's a good uh, starter. Or even if you're more experienced and have more expensive drones like I do, it's a fun little drone to fly and well worth the price paid. Uh, so uh, with that said, uh, happy flying everybody and uh, I hope that you found this uh, video useful. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford, otherwise known as Idaho Sledhead on my YouTube channel out and as always thank you very much for watching this video and again if you like this content uh, please consider subscribing to my channel thanks again